Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Moonshine if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. So, if you haven't seen this video before, I basically give you the rundown of what is new and actually available for us Australians to access in the ways of makeup. So if there is makeup that is really expensive for us to get shipped here, I don't mention it. So these are products that we can access in store or online here today. Let's start with, that's right, Mecca. So I don't know if I missed this last week, but there was only one product. So I think I might have missed it. The Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick Duo for $110 and it comes in two exclusive shades. They are Only You, which is a tawny brick, and I Hope We, which is a deep blue pink. And they look so gorgeous. Once again, packaging Hourglass smashed it. So $110, I probably wouldn't pick this up. So that was all at Mecca. So let's move on to Sephora. Sephora have the a new Sephora favorites set and it's called the Glow Down Highlighter Set and it retails for $58. The set includes Beauty Blender, Reju Set and Refresh Spray, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter, Wanda Glow Get a Mist, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighter and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter, which is pretty cool. Also, we have from Benefit Cosmetics, they have a double liner deal, which is a full size and a mini size uh, matte black eyeliner liquid for, for $40. Fenty Beauty have brought out new gloss bomb shades which is very cool they are officially called the gloss bomb universal lip luminizer and it retails for 31 dollars and there are three new shades which include sweet mouth hot chocolate and glass slipper fenty really know how to do good like shade names for products i think they might even be one of the best you know what i find really hard um nars blushes like if someone asks you what blush you're wearing and you just say deep throat or orgasm, like it's very, it's not a blush you'd want to promote because especially if it's like to maybe a more conservative person, you don't want to just be like throwing out those. But hot chocolate, sweet mouth, oh sweet mouth is a bit. But glass slipper is the perfect name for a clear gloss in my opinion. Next from Fenty Beauty, they also brought out a setting spray and it's called What It Do. So good. Makeup Refreshing Spray for $48. It is a non sticky spray that you can use before, during, or after makeup for a fresh, dewy glow with a soft rose scent. Don't like rose, but I like dew. So. At Priceline, we only have one company that brought out some products, but it's a collection and it is from Models Prefer and it is the Green Routine Collection. I was like, are these all like green color correcting products? And they're not. All the products include hemp seed oil and or vitamin, um, aloe vera, I think was in all of the products as well. So I thought it was quite interesting and I'm very fascinated by this primer. It is called the Green Routine Hydrating Primer and it retails for $24.99. A hydrating primer infused with hemp seed oil, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and aloe vera. So not only is it hydrating, it's also soothing. So I think that'd be great for someone with dry, sensitive skin or a bit of rosacea. I really like the sounds of that. So I might have to go to Priceline just like, Swatch out. Also have the Green Routine Setting Mist for $25.99, which is a setting mist with the hemp seed oil. And they also have, which sounded also very interesting to me, the Green Routine Mascara for $24.99. And it is a conditioning mascara infused with hemp seed oil, castor oil, argan oil, and aloe vera. Sounds so conditioning. I really am intrigued by this range, models prefer. Although if I got both, that's just like straight up $50 for 
drugstore. And I don't know how I feel about that, you know? But I will check it out because I'm very intrigued. Sorry, the sun is just blasting right now. So, Sports Girl have a couple of new things. They have the Time to Prime Brightening Primer for $12.95 and the Face Value SPF 30 BB Cream for $16.95. Now in true Sports Girl fashion, there are two shades for the BB Cream, light and medium, so keep that in mind. On the line we have at Beauty Bay, some Lily Lashes. Now it looks like they are an existing lash, the Miami 3D mink lash and time so lash and time is just basically an existing lash in valentine's day packaging uh and that retails for 54 dollars but lily lashes is known for being like the bougie lashes she also brought out an eyelash curler for 29 dollars lash scissors for 23.50 and a very interesting looking lash applicator for $23.50 as well. A brand I've never heard of, it sounds a little bit K-Beauty, OK Choc Choc Hydrating Serum Mist for $18. And it is uh, very hydrating uh, with, I think it said it had oils in it as well, serum mist. And I think that's where the serum comes in. Uh, Jeffree Star has, you've probably seen, released some new mirrors. He's very well known for his hand mirrors. And these ones are the approved stamp mirror for $39 in shades baby pink, black, and pink chrome. Makeup Revolution have released, this is, this is wild, Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer for $11, first of all. $11 like I know they're an affordable brand, but that's 11 Australian dollars. That's wild now. This is what gets me 57 shades there were available. That's what the website had 57 Hey 57 shades I like I'm all for shade inclusion, but if it is all online how am I supposed to know which one to pick if there's 57 options? Like if you think about it, that's like 10 options in each category. Or maybe even more, maybe like six options in each category. But, I mean, you know, you complain if you have it, you complain if you don't, so. Remember when, is it Purr or Pure? Purr came out with the 100 shades of that foundation. I was like, that's insane. Like, how are you supposed to pick? Because these are not in-store brands. These are online brands. How are you supposed to pick your shade? This is the Conceal and Define range. So they've got the original, which I've had, and I loved that concealer, and I have the foundation. Then they came out with Hydrating, and now this one is Infinite Longwear. So it is formulated with 20% more coverage without extra effort, and it is, it is infused with anti-inflammatory niacinamide to help care for blemish-prone skin. So this sounds like um, the opposite of the hydrating one. So the hydrating one was for more dry textured skin. And then this one sounds like it's for more oily skin. So love that. I probably won't try this one just because it's not for me, but I love what they've come out with. Then we have from, I don't know this company. I'm gonna say Rodial, but it could be Rodial but I think it's Rodial because I always pronounce things like way incorrectly and I don't know why. It's just the way my brain works. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to say Rodial. Okay. They have brought out an instant filler primer for $59, essentially a blurring primer, but a very good advertising name, instant filler. Like that makes you want to buy it, right? But it's essentially just a blurring primer to fill in pores. They've also released a peach powder and it retails for $78.50 and it's a versatile peachy shade that melts into the skin to color correct your complexion, disguising any redness, pigmentation or uneven skin tone. Used to set your makeup to create matte base or wear alone for a subtle filter effect on your skin. This would suit your light to medium skin tones when they say 
you know, if it's a universal shade, it's not. It's for your light to medium arenas. They have also released the Glamour Lash XXL Mascara Mink for $36.50 and also the Instant Glow Primer, which is an illuminating primer. Revolution Pro, as we know, is Makeup Revolution's senior sister brand. And they have released three eyeshadow palettes. We have the New Neutrals Smoked Eyeshadow Palette, $18. They are all $18. The Passion Shadows Palette and the Blushed Shadow Palette. And I really like the look of the smoked one, the first one. It looks quite... When I say unique, it's unique to what I own. Paul and Joe. Does anyone here remember Paul and Joe? They used to be really popular... Oh, I want to say over five, six years ago. They were really, really popular. And they have brought out a couple new products. They were known for their lipsticks that, and the top looks like a cat with little cat ears. I don't know how you apply that to your lips, but it was very popular. So they have brought out a lipstick and refill in shade Red Heels for $21. The, I don't quite understand this, face and eye color in gallivanting for $38. I'm not too sure. Face and eye, how, I, as soon as you get a brush into something and you merge it, it kind of ruins the whole point of individual colors for your eye. A, a personal opinion. And I don't know how many people would use this for eyes. Maybe for face, yes, but I don't know how many people would use this for eyes. Nonetheless, it's out. We also have a lipstick case in Gypsy Faces for $11, and a lip crayon in Soiree for $21. Cult Beauty, they have the NARS Afterglow Palette for £59, so that equates to like $100, if not more. It's a lot of money. I think Mecca will get it, because Mecca gets a lot of NARS, it's just usually quite delayed. So I would be really me waiting for Mecca because then I can actually go in and see what it looks like. But if you want it right now, it is at Cult Beauty. And that's all they had. Cult Beauty only had one new product. Just the one. I know a lot of NARS eyeshadows are very similar. But at the same time, they're so beautiful. I tell you what I wasn't a fan of. They're Christmas uh, Studio 54. The glitters in there were so chunky. Not a fan. Not a fan. But this one, fan. Fan. At Beautylish, we have a couple things. We have from Viseart, the Paris Edit Eyeshadow Palette. And retails for 39 US dollars. It just looks like another purple palette. But I've heard Viseart shadow formula is quite nice. Okay, another brand like that was really popular back when Paul and Joe was is Anna Sui. Is that how I say it? Sui or Sweet? See, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce things. Basically, the brand has bought out a few new things. They have the black pressed powder for US $34 and it has a matte finish for oily types. And then they've also brought out a limited edition face color for 23 US dollars, which is essentially a blush. And there are two shades. These look really pretty. I'm not going to lie. They look really pretty. And I don't know if this is just because I was really young. I thought all makeup was expensive. But I thought Anna Sui was like luxury back in the day. The fact that they're only really charging $23 for a blush makes me think that they've maybe dropped their prices. I could be wrong though. I don't really know, but I always had that feeling that it was a really luxe brand. So, I don't know. But that's quite affordable, $23. So, it's I love it. I think it's quite beautiful. Speaking of luxury brands, Surat Beauty have brought out a primer. For 95 American dollars. It is called the Perfectioniste Primer. Yes, that's right. US $95, which would equate to estimated 
like $150 for a primer. Look, Surat, I know you're the bougie brand, but it's just a primer. We don't, no one wants to spend that much. No one. It is a water-based emulsion that is formulated with oil absorbing powders for a pore blurring and skin softening effect. So you're a blurring primer for 95 jewelers. Next we have my favorite <laughs> ColourPop weekly edition, weekly special. Every week is we have a ColourPop special. So we're gonna call ColourPop the weekly special. Like, pew, 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 weekly special. All of these prices are in US dollars because I can't be bothered saying it every time. But we have the Valentine's Day collection and I'm surprised that they've gone dark red kind of colors because I, you know, Valentine's Day is usually like really fluffy pinks and peaches and la 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 la. This is like fierce Valentine's Day and I am loving it. There's quite a lot of things in this collection. We have the All That Shadow Palette for $18, which is what I was just talking about. Love it, want it, need it. We have the Just A Kiss set for $25. The Hustle and Glow for $25. Stay The Night, $18. Pink Lady Glow, looks beautiful, $18. Tender Love and Care, $12. Bay and Lover Faux Lashes for $8 each. The She's All That collection for $60. The Risky Business Full Collection, $90. And lastly, the Better Together Kit for $12, which is just a bunch of glitters. I think the She's All That collection looks the best. $60, so that would be $100 Australian dollars. Looks pretty sick. You get all of that for $100. When you think of that Surat um, primer was like 95 American dollars and then this is 60 American dollars. I know what I would be picking. Like I'm all for luxe brands and designer beauty and all of that. I love it. Like Hourglass, come at me, love you. But value has its place and ColourPop is where it's at. And this is the weekly special. Da, 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 da. Lastly, but very not least, we have some new blush palettes from BH Cosmetics. They go for 12 US dollars each. Love that price point. And they come in a range of shades and it's the Truffle Blush Collection. So they all look like little quads of truffle chocolates and I'm instantly hungry. So there are actually quite a few that I wanted. The one that I really wanted was sold out, Ovi. Um, but I think this is going to do really well. Like, I think it's such a cute product, but the colors that they picked are phenomenal in the ranges for all skin types. Love it so much. We have nine different ones, is it nine? There are nine palettes available, so I'll read them out to you and show the pictures. We have Vanilla Cream, Chocolate Cherry, the one I wanted. Vanilla Peach, Chocolate Marshmallow, love that name, Chocolate Strawberry, Chocolate Orange, Vanilla Strawberry, Vanilla Cherry, and Vanilla Orange. How cute are they? I love the way that these look. I would love probably two of these palettes. So the lighting looks a little different because I ran out of space on my card. So I had to very slowly upload, delete. And here we are. So we're about an hour later for my outro. <laughs> But that pretty much completes the whole video. So out of those, uh, what I'm really excited for the BH Cosmetics blush palettes. I would really like to see them come to like an Australian website and be able to support an Australian website. I really like doing that. But I mean, that's time will tell. Love the ColourPop collection. I think it looks so beautiful and not what I expected, which is what I really like from it. It's a little bit grungy. Valentine's Day and I'm here for that because that's kind of what I am today. 
right? The NARS Afterglow, Afterglow palette, sign me up. The Hourglass lipsticks, sign me up. So, what was your favorite thing of the week? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what has excited you, if any. It wasn't a huge week in makeup, the makeup world, beauty community. However, it was a good one. There was some really good, good things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love for you to join the fam. And other than that, I'll see you guys next week in my new to Oz Beauty Edition video. See ya.